Shout out to my new subby Leah Dixon for requesting how I do Bantu knot outs and I've actually never done one before so this is my first impression with you guys. I started out with old braid out hair that is really stretched and also really tangled so I just parted it into two halves and then I tied the other half up into a ponytail. Then I separated the other half into two separate halves again and I tied the back half up. I've already parted out what I want to use for my bantu knot out and I just spritz it with my water, add my oil and comb it through. And I finger detangle and I comb my hair so I can have the least amount of knots as possible. And I start from the ends and work my way up. I get my shea butter mixture and I apply it thoroughly through my hair. I begin by starting off with my twist and taking two strands and starting to twist and then grabbing hair as I go. Almost like a braid but just with two strands. And I just grab hair as I continue to twist. This way the sections will be broken up already and I don't really have to fluff it out. Then just continue to twist till the ends. Beginning with the knot, I just twist around in a circle until it is completely knotted around itself, literally. And then it can stand up by itself. And that's my first bantu knot. On to the second one. Now I have already spritzed my hair, added my oil and my shea butter and come through. So I just began to twist and I continue my head like this until I finish the whole entire head. And I think the hardest part of doing this is probably making the knot. If you need to, you can also grab a bobby pin and pin it so that it stays in place better. I am now almost completely done with my hair and I am just on the last two. That's my cousin Brianna. She wanted to be in the video. But I'm on my last two and I just continue to do the same thing that I've been doing and it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. I found that I have to put my finger on the center to make the knot perfect. And that's it. Now I just add my scarf, she was mocking me, and I go to sleep. On to the next day, I grab my oil and I rub it on my hand so that I can create as less frizz as possible and then I just begin to take the knots down. I'm not actually untwisting them, I'm just taking them all down out of their knot style. Now I begin to untwist from the back working my way to the front and I'm doing it slowly even though this is fast motion, it's actually really slow so that I can create as less frizz as possible and I can have really defined curls. I actually really liked how my hair was turning out. I just didn't really like how short it was, but I can work with anything. By this point, I really loved how it was looking, like 100%. It was really cute. Remind me of Shirley Temple Curls. I really liked how my Bantu Knot Out turned out. And thank you, Leah Dixon, for showing me or asking me how to do this. And I just raked through my hair to try to get it to kind of come out. But it didn't really work all that well. So I decided I would put it in a style. And I just grabbed bobby pins and started pinning my hair back a little bit. Then I grabbed the back of my hair and pinned it up. So it was like I'm pinning all of my hair into a ponytail, but I didn't want to be actually in a ponytail because it take away from the actual curl that it has. And I ended up really liking how it looked. And thank you. And I'm glad you guys watched and loved it. 
and I actually just added a little bit of meanness to it. I took down those little side things and then I added my own personal scarf for a little accessory and I tied it back in the back and I left the two little parts out because I thought it was cute. And that's all. That is the whole hairstyle and I really liked how it turned out and it's really cute and thank you guys for watching. Smile and be happy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment and go watch my latest video, Effortless Casual Pony. And also if you want to request a hairstyle or something you want me to do, just comment.